Evelyn to Philip, May 14, 1945. Dearest Phil, in yesterday's airmail letter, I forgot to tell you that we didn't go out to have dinner as we had planned because it rained. Instead, Harry went to Broad Street and brought home a Chinese dinner for four, mom included. We had soup, egg rolls, lobster, rice, shrimp, and all the decorations. Mom ate the stuff, but she said she preferred one of her dinners. I liked it. I'm typing this at work, 5.30, and I'm doing so because I'm going to lie down as soon as I get home. I've had a terrible splitting headache all day long and can't help but marvel at my ability to keep my head up. There was no mail from you today. How do I know? Mom didn't call to tell me. By the way, honey, just in case there is a delay in the mail, I want to tell you that I didn't write on May 12th, and I combined the 12th and 13th in my long airmail letter yesterday. Included with yesterday's letter were the two pictures we took when Gloria was in Philly. Nothing unusual occurred between the time that I last wrote and now. Writing to Gloria, typing a letter to the attorney for my mother, and knitting for some 30 minutes occupied the remainder of my evening last night. I was fast asleep by 11 and slept uninterruptedly till 7.15 this morning. However, I still do not feel rested or very well, simply because I'm overdue. I've noticed that I always come down with a splitting headache just before it arrives. I'm wearing the corsage today, and it is in its last stages. I'm going to press it and keep it. It smells lovely and gives the office a pleasant aroma. Adele's face is a bit rashy due to the new teeth that just put in an appearance. She keeps on biting on her fingers to help them through and is quite annoyed by the pain. I'm going to call Dr. Lefko tonight or tomorrow and make an appointment to have her feet examined. She'll have to have shoes within the next three or four weeks as her present ones are rapidly becoming just right. Honey, I just wish you could see how crazy Paul is about Adele. Whenever he sees her, he only wants to kiss her. Sometimes she's willing, but most of the time she isn't. The two of them had plenty of fun together when, she, when he was here yesterday by walking up and down the front steps and sort of jumping down. Naturally, I was on hand to watch, just in case. Adele walks up and down the front steps alone, outside, but I like to watch her closely when she does. I'm still anxiously awaiting some word of what will happen to you in the near future, and that is my greatest concern now. I'm still hoping that you'll soon be with the one who loves you so dearly, your Ev.